So when I started this project, it was real easy to keep the little videos concurrent with the work being done because I basically worked on one thing at a time. But now I've got a bunch of things going on at the same time. None of them are 100% complete, so I kind of just have to pick one. So I'm a, this video is on trimming out the uh, sides of the boat, and you'll see that a lot of things have been worked on that I haven't done a video on yet, but as I get closer to completing them, I certainly will. So I want to start looking at the covering board for this part up front. I'm working with a couple of restraints. One, I want the top of the covering board to go underneath this part of the cap. And two, it has to cover these uh, conduits I have coming up out the ground. Other than that, I want it as vertical as possible because it's awkward to stand next to the side of a boat where your toes hit the wall long before your belly hits the uh, rub rail. So um, that's as vertical as I can make it. And instead of the curve changing as it goes toward the front of the boat like the hull does, I want to try to keep it more or less the same. So I'm going to show you what I did. I don't know if this is the right way, but uh, that's never stopped me before. So I used the foam templates and cut some uh, end caps out of the old boat fiberglass. And I got, it, got them to fit, and I'm having a hard time to get them to stay put. So we got the two little wall bulkheads in place, and it was a process. First, I had to put a couple of drops of hot glue. It didn't want to stay. And then I put a couple of fingers full of thickened epoxy. I have some stuff that sets really fast. And that held it in place. And then I did the thickened polyester in the rounded out that inside corner. And when that got semi-hard, I went ahead and put some glass on it. So now these two little bulkheads are... Um, Super, they're in place, they're done. This is what I'm doing. I cut a piece of foam that's flat on the deck and it has the right slope to match that one. And I clamped a level to it, sight level, and I scooted it along until I intersect, until the uh, hull starts intruding onto the levelness. And I put a Sharpie mark and then come forward in order to get this to touch I have to pick it up and when I pick it up and the level says level I put a sharpie mark on the hole and I put a bunch of them and I came around and as you come to the front you get higher and higher so now I'm going to transfer those sharpie marks onto a piece of cardboard and that'll be my preliminary template I might have to cut it twice to get it right or maybe even three times but that'll get me started Getting started is the hardest part, usually. So I brought those marks down to the deck with a uh, framing square, and then I measured up how far off the deck they were in inches and eighths, and got them written down there, and I'll transfer that to the cardboard and cut it, and we'll see how close we got. Okay, the second piece of cardboard I did a little different. I just held it up, and uh, Marked it with a pencil, the top of the cardboard, and then I measured down from that pencil mark to my marks, transferred them to the car cardboard, and then we're going to cut it and see what happens. So far, so good. I'll bring this in the shop and transfer this to a sheet of quarter inch plywood and get that bottom curve a little more fair because it should be fair. The hole is fair, so it should be a smooth curve. Um, the top I'll be able to through bolt to the cap and this joint will be hidden by the cushion bolster. The bottom will be glass to the hull. And then where the hull comes in a lot of front, that's where we'll have some kind of seats or something. That's the next thing on my list to start designing. I'll go get a um, sheet of plywood and cut this out. I'm using a little piece of uh, PVC conduit to average out all those low marks and get a pretty curve on the plywood. Ran into a problem on this side. This conduit sticks out more, and I don't have one on the other side. So, I could almost cut it off flush with the floor and still have access to the wire. It would make it harder. I think I can grind most of it away. It's just, it's just a convenience factor to be able to pull wires. And if I have to, I'll put a little lump in the, uh, in the side right there. I'm going to have a big lump right here with a fuel tank. 
hose comes in. So I'm gonna make both sides the same. I'm gonna go ahead and make glass for both sides. So I took a little gamble here. This is the plywood pattern that I had for the side and I oiled it twice with teak oil and I put three layers of chop mat on it with polyester resin and I believe I'm going to be able to get it off. So before I get it off, well, let's see if we can get it off. So with the first side being successful, I just uh, flipped the template over and oiled the back side of it. And this will give me the mirror image, so I'll have uh, one uh, piece for each side of the boat. I got ashes on my forehead and gumbo on my chin. Nowhere I'm a going, and I know where I've been. I've got ashes on my forehead and gumbo on my chin Love to eat, love to drink, and I love to play beret But come Ash Wednesday morning I will hear my pastor say All that living is mighty fine, but it don't take long to learn Remember you are dust, my child, the dust you shall return All to you, all to you I offer all to you, Lord, to you I got ashes on my forehead and gumbo on my chin Know where I'm a-going, know where I've been Come from Louisiana, state of original sin. I got ashes on my forehead and gumbo on my chin. Love a Mardi Gras parade and I love a crawfish boil. I love to dance a two step in the VFW hall. I go to Mass on Sundays and holy days I do. Say my rosary beads at night and I offer all to you, all to you, all to you. I offer all to you, oh Lord, to you. I got ashes on my forehead and gumbo on my chin. Know where I'm going and I know where I've been. I come from Louisiana. I got ashes on my forehead and gumbo on my chin All to you, all to you Okay, second side has four layers pretty much everywhere And the first side is curing in the sun I put some epoxy paint on it In a couple hours, well probably tomorrow I'll flip this one Pull this one off the board and put some epoxy paint on it so I'll have a right and a left. And then I will put them in the boat, do some final trimming and adjusting, and then turn them over and on the back I'll build up some thickness. So this is my second wall panel layup. I laid it yesterday, painted it this morning. Let's see if we can get it off. So my two side panels are still, well, they're pretty limber. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put two more layers of glass, a chop mat, and a 19 ounce woven roving. And then they should be stiff enough to bring them in the boat and fit, trim the edges and everything. And after that, they probably will need another couple layers. But I don't want to put too many layers before I fit it because I don't want it to be too stiff where it won't bend. So I'm going to do two more layers on each one. and. Uh, 
they dry in the next couple hours I may start trying to fit them so I'm back to working on my um, side panels I put the template down on it and marked the perimeter with a sharpie you should be able to see that and I'm going to trim it and I flipped the template over did the same on that one and I'm going to go ahead and start the fairing process on the finished side before I put it in the boat it's just so much easier while it's flat out here on the work table and I'm going to use epoxy resin I think it just sands so much easier than the uh, laminating resin Got them cleaned up and sanded a little bit and wiped the face down with acetone to get any traces of that oil away and a coat of paint and they look a lot better already. Okay, side panels temporarily stuck into place <clears throat> on both sides. They're not fitted yet, they're just sitting. Um, I have decided I'm keeping the front as is, so I'm going to unscrew it. I'm going to grind the mating surfaces and we're going to epoxy it into place today and then it won't come out anymore and also underneath this cap I need to um, glass that hull to cap joint it's never been glassed and I won't be able to get to it after the fact I'm gluing this little piece of treated plywood to the back of the finish panel because it's going to be have to be screwed from the front through there and this is thin I didn't think to screw it old so I put some wood in the back it's just it's a treated plywood and it's really tricky to get the thing into place because it, there's a double compound curve. So I went ahead and cut a pattern. This matches the front of the boat. And I'm gluing that clamp to that pattern and hopefully it'll kind of keep that shape. Um, typically, you could have just glued it straight and bent it around there, but there's nowhere to get any leverage or force. It's kind of got to fit when it goes in. So we'll see how this does and I'll do the same thing on the other one we'll get it in place and see what it looks like my son's in town for a visit so i'll put him to work he is applying epoxy to the top edge of the um, side panel and we're going to screw them into place and the epoxy is really what's going to hold it the screws just are a way to clamp it to get the epoxy up tight It's a sad day. My gray epoxy that has never let me down. I'm at the bottom. There's no more. I gotta I gotta learn a new trick. Gotta get some new paint. I went to see the paint fairy this morning and I got four gallons of Tenemic 61, series 61. Two of them are a beige and two of them are light gray. And they even got the proper thinner for them. So I'm gonna um, do a sample, a trial. On the bottom of the front hatch area, this is fresh polyester, so it's still a little sticky to see if it'll bond with the sticky polyester. And then I'm going to mix them with a thickener and make a filler out of it and do a little work on the opposite side of this same piece and see if it'll dry hard enough to sand. Um, hope so, because I am pretty much out of my gray, most favorite paint in the world. It's all gone after three years. So you saw in the video we screwed the top of the closure panel to the back side of the cap and the plywood strips on the back of the closure panel give the um, screw something to bite into so I think we had a pretty good joint along there. And I got this weird detail here um, and originally this the closure panel came down first which accentuated the unevenness so I trimmed it back in place. I got a, a little sliver off of it. And now I just have this bump here. I'm going to have to smooth that out as best as possible. But I can't make it go away. All I can do is minimize it. Now this, there'll be a bolster, a cushion running around here. So this will actually be out about an inch and a half. So that's going to kind of hide a lot of it. But um, anyway, there's going to be a, a, some kind of piece of trim or smooth detail right there. And then I glass the bottom to the hull, and I glass the bottom to the deck, and then I put one heavy skim coat of epoxy filler 
over everything and it's really rough because you got the the glass poking out and nothing's really straight yet you got difference in differences between this and this I'm trying to fill it all but so you put a lot of filler and you do a lot of sanding the second coat will make a huge improvement because now you have something halfway smooth to trowel against first coat is just trying to get some material there the first coat looks like this when you're working on it and then I had the two little bumps one the electrical conduit there and the fuel fill hose there and I just took a on this one I took a piece of four inch uh, PVC pipe and just cut like a little sliver out of it and hot glued it on there and glassed over it and this one we did it with a piece of three inch pipe and uh, I meant to take a picture of that but I didn't but it went it's there's nothing to it it's just slapped up against there and it's got a bunch of layers of glass over it so I'm now in the heavy duty sanding mode to knock all this stuff down to something that I can get a good skim coat over so yesterday I did some scientific research on the paint the Tenemic 61 series that the paint fairy gave me I painted this uh, polyester resin which was still a little sticky and the paint cured and today I was able to sand it and the resin is no longer sticky so that's a plus and I also mixed some of it with some thickener and filled in a little divot along here and I didn't fill it in enough but it was sandable didn't come up to paper got hard so that's a plus I also painted some over the gray that I have everywhere and it cured and I was able to sand it and I painted some over some uncured gray and again it cured and I was able to sand it so uh, the gray is gone everything from here on out until I run through four gallons will be Tenemic Series 61 this is my third layer of fairing and I'm getting down to the nitty gritty this corner I've uh, ground a curve to it I'm gonna put a couple of layers of real thin glass this six inch uh, uh, woven glass and clean this corner up start working our way back toward the back of the boat with uh, cosmetic stuff I rounded this corner off made it pretty and I put four layers three layers of uh, six ounce fabric make sure it didn't get a crack so all that's left now to do on these side panels is a lot of fairing a lot of sanding and I won't bore you with that because that's uh, terribly boring <laughs> 